Humility is a virtue and a fundamental aspect of human character that involves an individual's recognition of their own limitations, imperfections, and the importance of modesty and selflessness. It is often associated with a sense of self-awareness and an attitude of openness and receptivity to the experiences, ideas, and feelings of others. Here are some key aspects of humility. Self-awareness. Humility begins with an honest self-assessment. It involves acknowledging one's strengths and weaknesses without excessive pride or self-deprecation. A humble person is comfortable with their imperfections and doesn't seek to overinflate their abilities. Modesty. Humble individuals are typically modest and avoid excessive self-promotion or arrogance. They don't feel the need to constantly draw attention to their achievements or seek validation from others. Openness to learning. Humility is closely related to a willingness to learn and grow. Humble people are open to new experiences, ideas, and perspectives. They recognize that they don't have all the answers and are receptive to the wisdom of others. Empathy. Humble individuals are often more empathetic because they are attentive to the experiences and feelings of others. They understand that everyone has their own struggles and challenges. Gratitude. Humble people tend to be grateful for the blessings in their lives. They recognize that much of their success and well-being is not solely the result of their efforts, but is influenced by external factors and the support of others. Service to others. Humility often leads to a desire to serve and help others. Humble individuals are not primarily focused on their own needs, but seek to make a positive impact on the lives of those around them. Conflict Resolution Humility is beneficial in resolving conflicts because it encourages a person to see things from the perspective of others and find common ground. Humble individuals are more willing to admit their mistakes and seek reconciliation. Leadership Humble leaders are often highly effective because they listen to their team members, value their input, and foster a collaborative and respectful working environment. They lead by example, not by dominance. Resilience. Humble individuals are better equipped to handle setbacks and failures. They do not tie their self-worth solely to their successes, making it easier for them to bounce back from adversity. Spiritual and ethical development. Humility is a core virtue in many religious and philosophical traditions. It is often seen as a prerequisite for ethical living and spiritual growth. Many spiritual teachings emphasize the importance of humility in developing a deeper connection with a higher power or a higher purpose. While humility is highly regarded, it's essential to recognize that it is not the same as self-doubt, passivity, or a lack of self-esteem. Humble individuals can have healthy self-esteem and self-confidence while maintaining a sense of perspective about their abilities and place in the world. Practicing humility can lead to personal growth, improved relationships, and a more peaceful and harmonious existence. It encourages a focus on the well-being of others and contributes to a more empathetic and compassionate society. Here's an example of humility in action. The Mentor's Humility Sarah had been a successful business executive for many years, known for her leadership and strategic acumen. She was well-respected in her industry and had mentored numerous colleagues and aspiring professionals. One day, she was introduced to a young and enthusiastic employee named Alex, who was eager to learn from her. Sarah recognized Alex's potential and agreed to mentor him. As they began working together, she made a conscious effort to approach the mentorship relationship with humility. Despite her extensive experience, Sarah didn't assume that she had all the answers or that her way of doing things was the only right way. She actively listened to Alex's ideas and perspectives, encouraging him to share his thoughts and contribute to their projects. 
Sarah was open to learning from her mentee, recognizing that fresh insights and a different generation's perspective could bring valuable innovation and growth to their work. When Alex presented a new approach to a problem that was significantly different from what Sarah had initially suggested, she didn't dismiss it, but rather embraced the opportunity to explore it further. They tested both approaches, and as it turned out, Alex's solution was more effective in that particular context. Sarah admitted the success of Alex's approach in front of their team and credited him for his contributions. She didn't let her ego or pride get in the way of acknowledging his role in the project's success. This act of humility not only boosted Alex's confidence, but also fostered a collaborative and open working environment within the team. Empathy is a fundamental human quality that involves the ability to understand and share the feelings, experiences, and perspectives of others. It goes beyond sympathy, which is feeling compassion for someone's suffering. Empathy involves putting yourself in someone else's shoes and truly comprehending their emotions and situation. Here are some key aspects of empathy and why it's important. Types of empathy. Cognitive empathy. This refers to the ability to understand another person's perspective and emotions. It involves recognizing and comprehending what someone else is going through. Emotional empathy. Emotional empathy is the capacity to share in another person's feelings. It allows you to feel what someone else is feeling, often through mirroring their emotions. Compassionate empathy. Compassionate empathy takes it a step further. It not only involves understanding and sharing another person's emotions, but also leads to a desire to help and alleviate their suffering. Enhances relationships. Empathy is a cornerstone of healthy and meaningful relationships. When you can understand and validate another person's feelings, it fosters trust, connection, and emotional intimacy. Effective communication. Empathetic individuals are better communicators. They actively listen and respond to others with understanding, which leads to clearer and more constructive conversations. Conflict resolution. Empathy plays a crucial role in resolving conflicts. By seeing a situation from the other person's point of view, it becomes easier to find common ground and work toward a resolution. Reduced prejudice. Empathy can reduce prejudice and bias by fostering an appreciation of diverse perspectives and experiences. When people understand and connect with others, stereotypes and prejudices tend to diminish. Improved leadership. Empathetic leaders are often more effective and have higher employee satisfaction. They are attuned to the needs and concerns of their team members, which fosters a more positive and collaborative work environment. Positive mental health. Empathy is closely related to emotional intelligence, which is linked to better mental health. Understanding and regulating one's emotions and connecting with others emotionally can lead to greater well-being. Altruism and compassion. Empathy is a driving force behind acts of kindness and compassion. When you genuinely understand and share in someone else's suffering, it motivates you to take action to help and support them. Parenting and education. Empathy is crucial in parenting and education. Parents and teachers who are empathetic can better understand and meet the emotional needs of their children or students, leading to healthier development. Community and global awareness. On a broader scale, empathy fosters community and global awareness. It encourages people to engage with social issues, advocate for change, and contribute to a more compassionate and just society. Conflict prevention. Empathy can help prevent conflicts by addressing underlying issues and understanding the grievances of different parties. It's a valuable tool in diplomacy and peacebuilding efforts, innovation, and creativity. Empathy plays a role in innovation and creativity by allowing individuals to connect seemingly unrelated ideas or perspectives and see new opportunities for solutions.
Empathy is not only essential for fostering better relationships and emotional connections, but also for building a more compassionate and understanding world. It helps bridge gaps in understanding and promotes a sense of unity and shared humanity. Cultivating empathy is a lifelong journey that involves active listening, self-awareness, and the willingness to engage with the experiences of others. It's a powerful force for positive change and social progress. Improving empathy is a worthwhile endeavor that can enhance your relationships, communication skills, and overall well-being. Here are some practical steps to help you develop and strengthen your empathy. Practice active listening. Pay full attention when someone is speaking. Avoid interrupting or formulating your response while the other person is talking. Show that you are engaged through nonverbal cues like nodding or maintaining eye contact. Ask open-ended questions. Encourage others to share more about their thoughts and feelings. Questions like, how are you feeling about that? Or, what was that experience like for you? Can invite deeper conversation. Cultivate self-awareness. Understand your own emotions and reactions. The better you understand your own feelings, the more you can relate to the emotions of others. Reflect on your past experiences and how they have shaped your perspectives and reactions. Practice. Perspective. Taking. Try to see things from another person's point of view. Imagine how they might be feeling or what they might be thinking. Ask yourself, if I were in their shoes, how would I feel? Read fiction and watch movies or shows. Engaging with works of fiction can help you understand and connect with characters who have diverse experiences and emotions. Attend workshops or training. Consider participating in workshops or training programs focused on empathy and active listening. These programs often provide practical exercises and guidance. Volunteer or get involved in community service. Volunteering for causes you care about can help you connect with people from different backgrounds and develop a deeper sense of empathy. Practice mindfulness and meditation. Mindfulness techniques can help you become more present and aware of your own emotions, making it easier to relate to the feelings of others. Seek feedback. Ask for feedback from friends and loved ones about your communication and listening skills. They can provide valuable insights. Empathetic reading and media consumption. Read books or articles that explore different perspectives and experiences. Watch documentaries or listen to podcasts that share personal stories and experiences. Engage in difficult conversations. Don't shy away from challenging or uncomfortable conversations. They provide opportunities to practice empathy and active listening. Practice patience. Be patient with yourself as you work on improving your empathy. It's a skill that can take time to develop. Keep a journal. Reflect on your interactions with others. Note moments when you felt particularly empathetic and when you could have been more empathetic. Show empathy. Through acts of kindness, support others through small acts of kindness, whether it's offering a listening ear, helping with tasks, or providing emotional support. Engage in empathy-building exercises. Some exercises, such as the five whys technique, can help you delve deeper into understanding the emotions and motivations behind someone's words or actions. Remember that empathy is a skill that can be developed and improved over time. It involves both understanding and expressing compassion for others. By incorporating these practices into your daily life and interactions, you can become a more empathetic person, fostering better relationships and contributing to a more compassionate and understanding world.